have the, we have the sheriffs coming up. <laughs> Yeah, good. Over ahead, and um, what, what we'll do is you just gotta sit up. You just relax. Take it easy. Good job. Okay. Um, the sheriff's race is upon us. Every system of government which recognizes law as the supreme control of individual action is found it necessary to vest that power into one person, and that's the and that's the sheriff. This person is the chief law enforcement officer of the county. His power during times of emergency is absolute. It means he has no boss. Okay, um, his his boss is the citizens that elect him. Uh, he's a constitutional officer, which means he swears an oath and allegiance to the Constitution and the defense thereof. And a second, more important function, or as important function, which is maintain and administrate the jail, which is also uh, uh, a big issue today because of our new jail and our new jail tax. So uh, I'll begin with. Uh, Sheriff Sanders, and, and give us uh, uh, your qualifications to be the Chief Law Enforcement Officer and Administrator of the Jail. All right, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight. I've been with the Sheriff's Department over 29 years. I fell in love with the Sheriff's Department at age 15 when I got in the cadet program, and I realized that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life, and I'm blessed in the area that I look forward to going to work every day. It's my passion. I've been your sheriff for the last eight years. I've been working hard to try to create programs to benefit the citizens of the county and not with taxpayer money. We use money collected from fines that initiated a lot of the programs. One of the things I wanted to do as sheriff is not just be responding to calls for service, but to provide additional. We have senior care and safety check. We map sex offenders to their homes. First sheriff in the state of Arkansas to do that to where we can better protect our families. We have Project Lifesaver, where we have uh, tracking bracelets where we can look for lost children or lost seniors that have uh, uh, problems and they need these tracking devices. We have a program called The Child is Missing that we utilized last week. Uh, we have a new interactive website. Uh, I also worked on legislation uh, to create, uh, work with Bill Sample to create new legislation for a booking fee for everybody that's convicted of an A misdemeanor or above, and that money comes back in for the operations of the jail. And we've been uh, operating with over 300,000 extra dollars a year to operate the jail that does not come from the taxpayers, it comes from the people that are violating the law. That's what I want to continue to do, is to try to do programs like that. Uh, we could not hire any additional officers because there's no additional funds, so we went to 12-hour shifts with our patrolmen where they would allow us to have more officers on the street. So that's what I'm about. I've been there for 30 years. I'm a graduate of the FBI Academy. I love what I do, and I want to continue. Thank you. My name's Ronnie Dunn, and I'm also running for sheriff. And my qualifications are I've got 34 years of manufacturing experience in supervisory management positions with General Cable, Pirelli Cable Corporation and Reynolds Metals Company. I've, I've been, uh, I started out hourly. I worked for General Cable Pirelli till they shut down in Hot Springs for 17 and a half years. I was a division superintendent. I was in charge of over 350 management and hourly personnel. I transferred to division headquarters when the plant shut down. I was in charge of shutting down a distribution center in Atlanta, Georgia, and building its replacement in Abbeville, South Carolina. It took me about six months to get the building there and get everything moved, and they had trouble in the plant, so I went to work at that manufacturing plant in Abbeville. I had about 120 hourly people and about five supervisors working for me, and I my wife and family, we moved back to Hot Springs and I went to work at uh, Reynolds Metals Company and I was a uh, division, I was a uh, superintendent there Hello. and I got into the reserve program and I was in there for like 10 years but uh, after about three years in it I really liked the job and I decided to go to work at the court systems and uh, there I saw all the working around all the people in the jail and uh, 
in the sheriff's office and the court system. I saw a lot of problems there and uh, that's why I decided to run for sheriff. And I believe that I can do a better job of managing the Garland County Sheriff's Department and make sure that the new jails manage properly. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, last year, the citizens of Garland County voted to approve a one cent sales tax with the promise of increased safety for our citizens. Since then, there's been a rash of violent crime in Garland County. What will you do to increase the safety and security of the citizens of Garland County now, knowing the jail is several uh, years away from completion? We'll start with Ronnie and then follow up. Well, as, I, as I've said in the past, I believe that we have enough people in Carlin County Sheriff's Department to do that. I think it's a matter of a, a refocus in our priorities. I think that if we kind of worked on the high crime area and uh, focus on that, and if we assign deputies to designated areas where they can get to know the people and uh, know who's stealing in those areas and, and work on these drug problems that we have, We've neglected uh, the meth in the county and, and the concentrated on the crack cocaine in the city. I believe that we can form our own drug crime team and work on that and uh, separate ourselves from this drug task force so we can get something done in the county. Thank you. Sure. There is a problem with crime in the county and the only way that we can really address that and it's what everybody's been talking against, and that's taxes. We are not given enough in law enforcement to operate the way we need to. I'm 14 officers below what I need to operate the jail safely. It's not unusual tonight if we have 200 in custody that we have five people working because we have people on vacation, we have people that are sick, we have people that are making a transport to another county, we don't have extra personnel to create anything. I've asked for it. I've been to the quorum court and I've asked for it. The only thing we were able to do is go to 12-hour shifts, and that did increase us out on the street. We have a good reserve program. Those officers help us by coming in and volunteering their time. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to create this and I'm going to create that and make all these promises because the money is not there. I'm not going to promise you anything that I can't do. What I can tell you is my men are out there right now risking their lives and they're going after methamphetamine, they're going after anything they can to protect us. Thank you. All right, this, this question is for Sheriff Sanders. Um, don't shoot me. I didn't ask these questions, okay? <laughs> um, do you support serving the entire county or do you favor only a select portion of Garland County? That's a great question. I'm the sheriff of the entire county, which includes the city, and I have people from inside the city that contact me, and this is no slam against the police department, but they've contacted me and they said, we would like to work with you on our problem, and we do that. That's, I'm the sheriff in the entire county, and so that's my number one priority is doing anything we can. I mentioned a while ago, senior care and safety check. That's something that we provide to everybody in Garland County, including the city limits. Same thing with our Project Lifesaver. There's somebody that lives inside the city that needs a wristband because they have a, chi a child with Down syndrome. That's a service we provide to city residences. So I'm the sheriff for everybody in the city and the county. Ronnie, I'll address that. The question was, do you support serving the entire county or do you favor only a select portion of Garland County? I believe in, in uh, the sheriff's office working in the northern part of the county, and I also believe in them working in the city also. The uh, sheriff's department is the chief law enforcement agency, and uh, they have jurisdiction over the city, but by, uh, the Hot Springs Police Department uh, has jurisdiction mainly, but the problem is that both have to work together. It's a joint effort with the police department and the sheriff's department working together to solve these problems. But I do believe that the sheriff has jurisdiction all over the county. Thank you. All right, and then I'll start with a question with you, and then we'll follow up with you. Is why build a new jail so far out when the present building was designed for more 
uh, stories, would that not save money? Well, that's the way I looked at it too. I voted against the new jail because I didn't like the location. I know we need a new jail, but uh, the county owns all but one lot on the city block that it's on right now. And when the jail was designed, it was designed to go up. Now they tell me that the structure's not sound enough, so they uh, they looked at going out into the county to build. But they could have added on portions on the block and destroyed the jail that's there now, and I believe they could come out cheaper than, uh, than uh, moving out in the county since you've got all the lawyers and you've got all the courts and the Hot Springs Police Department bringing inmates there all the time. Now you're going to have to move them out to the county. But I will do whatever is necessary to manage the new facility. Thank you. I would first point out that it's not the sheriff's decision on where the jail is placed. That's up to the county judge. They don't let me pick and choose that. They just let me operate it once it's constructed. Uh, as far as the going up where it's at, I've been there for 30 years and I've never seen any paperwork that indicated that that building was designed to go up. Also, the problem with it, we're looking at going with direct supervision, which is a complete different type of supervision of inmates, which will allow us to have less manpower to save on annual operations. So our operation that we're going to have, uh, the last I'd heard, we were looking at the area of $6 million for operations a year. For the same number of people that are being held in Washington County, they're around 11 to $12 million a year because they're operating a facility that's designed like our old one with a lot of blind spots and no way to, to have it as a more of a user friendly for the staff that work there. So I'm not aware of the current building being able to go up. I do know they looked at it, they explored it, all of the, the old county homes and, and uh, areas around the courthouse had asbestos problems, so they were looking at lots of expenses if they tore down and, and got into any of that. Plus, once they spread in that area, there would be no parking. There's no parking now. If anybody's been to the courthouse or the district court, good luck looking for a parking spot. So if, if you uh, add another 40 or 50 officers working and more inmates and more visitors, uh, and with no parking, we would have a problem where it's at. So, but that was up to the county judge, and I'll work with wherever it's placed. Right, we have we have enough time for a closing statement from each one. You have one minute to, to wrap it up. We'll start with Ronnie and then finish with. The reason I'm running for sheriff is because I've seen a lot of problems at the <laughs> sheriff's department, and I believe I can make a difference. Uh, morale is real low. My goal when I get in is to try to get these young men and women raises, try to get them a, a decent uh, working conditions, and uh, I'll do what I can with the JPs. But the main thing is, a lot of these kids go to work up there because they want to be law enforcement officers. Then they get up there and within a year, they're having to file bankruptcy and find another job or we're training them up to go to the Hot Springs Police Department. We as a community need to look at improving the working conditions up there and so we can keep qualified people. Thank you. Sure. Ronnie's exactly right. The employees do need to be paid better. It's another issue that I've dealt with each year asking the Quorum Court. Currently is our last finance meeting last Monday night. County government said there was $40,000 left in the general fund to get every county office through the end of this year if there was an emergency. If we have fuel problems, if we have maintenance problems, we have $40,000 to get through the end of the year. There is no money for pay raises. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. But can I promise that they're going to get pay raises? No. But once the new jail is in operation and we have a dedicated tax to operate that jail, and some current money that's used to operate the current jail comes back into the general fund, I'm going to be first in line asking for my employees to have more raises. I'm also going to be asking for more employees on the streets, and I would like to see us have some school resource officers, and that would also allow us to have officers in each end of the county. Thank you. Let's give the sheriff candidate. A